Hello everyone, Sparrow here today, and I have an interesting video today. This one is going to do with Season 7, since Season 8 is on its way pretty dang fast. I should really say that it was pretty dang fast. And we've gotten spoiler-worthy content already, thank you Hasbro very much for ruining my spoiler, you know, thing. Urgh. But anyways, enough of my ranting. Well, there's going to be plenty of writing in this video. Because today, I'm going to be naming off the top 5 worst episodes of Season 7, in my opinion. Now, this is all in my opinion, and these are the ones that I have found worthy of being the worst stinkers of Season 7. So, let's start with number 5. Hard to say anything. While not the worst episode, it also is pointless kind of bland and you know just your usual trope of you know a fight between two people trying to get the same girl the point of it is just kind of predictable i should say and i'm not gonna lie there was points in this episode where i was like like i was really falling asleep not to mention some points where i was making faces of like the cringe because there was cringe-worthy shit in this episode. I'm not kidding. Especially the one where the scene where they show Big Mac from uh, Sugar Bell's point of view on him doing the sleeping bell trope thing. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Not to mention the CMC are kind of out of character a little bit. Like I seriously, I know this. I know the CMC are like uh, children, kind of teenagers. I don't know. There's no official uh, given age for the CMC. But seriously, we're going with fairy tale trope crap. Wow. While certainly not the worst episode, it is definitely kind of bland in plot. Not to mention Justin Bieber Pony. Yep, and it was confirmed by Vincent Tong that that is a Justin Bieber based pony. So yeah, that even makes it worse. Not to mention he is just plain fucking annoying in this fucking episode every time he fucking shows up. He's just one of those people you want to slap in the face so hard that they feel it beyond recognition. I mean, seriously, could anybody, could we have done at least something more I, like One Direction, maybe Harry Styles or something like that, and that would have even been better. But no, we got Justin Bieber pony. In the end, uh, I guess it's kind of cute that Big Mac does get a special sum pony, and yeah, it's just a Big Mac shipping episode. It is cute, but I don't know. It's just bland. So, on to number four. Not asking for trouble. The Yak's return was supposed to be good. And let me be honest with all of you right now, I've always never liked the Yak's. Even from their first appearance in Party Pooped was actually really stupid. They, to me, seem like a bunch of children who basically stomp at anything that they don't get their way. I mean, seriously, that's what they were in Party Pooped. Just because the ponies didn't live up to their traditionals, they basically stomped, did a lot of property damage, which I, which I assure you is against the law, and a lot of vandalism, which is also against the law. So, these yaks should be in fucking Carolot prison for their acts. I mean, seriously. In Party Poop, they were terrible. Were they going to get any better in, uh, in this episode? No. They got worse. Not all the yaks this time, thank god. But the leader, I can't remember his name to save my ass. But, <sighs> the only cool thing about this episode was that we got a Pompeii reference. So, let me start with the terms of leadership. This asshole is a horrible leader. I mean, seriously, they are celebrating their annual thingamajig and it causes snow to plow into the village. And this has happened each time. I mean, can I just slap this guy in the face? He would rather see his kind his people eat snow over actually getting some ponies help and going outside of their heritage a little bit? I mean, seriously? Seriously? A leader is supposed to care for his, you know, subjects. I mean, I'm not saying Celestia is any better, but at least she cares for her subjects. Well, then again, she leaves it up to Twilight and the others to take care of her dirty business, but anyways. This is terrible leadership right here. 
Making your people eat snow just because you don't want to ruin your reputation as a leader. <laughs> I mean, really, 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 you are a dumbass. Seriously, go outside of your heritage a little bit and do the right thing for your goddamn people. That's what makes a leader, not stupidity. So, when PK got Rarity and the others to help, you know, clear the snow and all that stuff, I really thought he was going to lash out at her, and I said, if you lash out at her, I will so, so help me, so help me. And it just ticked me off. This guy is a horrible leader, and is just, ugh. even at the end, it's clarified that he's just trying to keep his record clean. Why does this remind me of a fanfic reading that I listened to recently? Well, yeah, because it's kind of the same deal, only a little bit more sinister since it's the lost narrator. But anyways, this guy is a terrible leader, and yeah, even in, in the end, it is figured out that, you know, that they think that he's the almighty guy. He kind of reminds me of Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. But anyways, that's only number four on this list. How worse can it get? It gets worse. Number three. Triple Threat. A lot of people actually like this episode when I found it one of the worst Spike episodes ever. Is it as bad as Princess Spike? Pfft, not even fucking close. But, oh my god, this is your... It's another cliche, basically. You overbook yourself, you invite two friends to the same location in one day, and you try to give them both equal attention, but it ends up biting you in the ass. This is basically what happened in the episode, but could this have been written any more dumb and stupid? I mean, seriously... If Spike was a real friend, he would have allowed these two to interact, like, you know, because they're both leaders of a certain, you know, colony or whatever, and they could benefit from one another, which is, which is what ends up happening in the end of the episode, but they could have avoided such a big problem. In the end, Spike is a dickwad. He literally abandons his friends even in times when they really need attention. Thorax needs help at the hive, so he's trying to... You know, seek out a friend to help him at the with his problem at the hive. I mean, seriously, ambassador of friendship, everybody. He is abandoning his friends in the times that they needed the most. And even though in the end, basically what was supposed to happen at the beginning of the episode ends up happening, it ends up happening in a way that I'm glad that actually Ember and you know Thorax team up on him and they basically say "fuck you," you know, like that, and. Yeah, Spike gets his just desserts, but Jesus Christ, this episode could have been written so much better. But why is it at number three, the way it was written? I mean, seriously, how much more of a dick can you get when you're abandoning friends when they need it the most? That is not friendship, people. That is dickery. That is literally the worst, worst way that you could be a friend to anybody. Or in this case, any pony, any dragon, any uh changeling that uh i don't know i just hated spike in this episode he was literally being a little dickwad to his friends that are supposedly his friends rather than letting two leaders you know talk and you know you know talk about things that could have that they could have benefited from one another instead he decides to keep them apart because he thinks they're going to hate each other and they're going to cause a war what are you are you seriously kidding me are you seriously kidding me spike after all this time, seven seasons of learning, developing, this is how you're going to react to this entire ordeal? You think they're going to hate each other? What kind of investor of friendship is this, seriously? Ugh. But anyways, that's only number three. On to number two of the worst stinkers of season seven. Number two, rock solid friendship. Now, don't get me wrong, I like this episode. And the side with uh, Maud and Starlight was perfect. Okay, that was good, that was cute, that was, you know, very well written. Except for one problem. Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie in this episode is, this, is a fly on the wall that just drives you absolutely crazy. Rather than letting her, her friends, you know develop, get to know each other, and rather than letting them do their own thing, she interrupts. Like a goddamn fly on the wall that you can't find, you're trying to kill it, but you can't freaking get rid of it. Literally, that's what this is like. I mean, if she wants her, her sister to move to Ponyville, and wants her to stay there, she's gotta let her do her own thing. She's gotta let her learn, interact with the ponies, and 
as far as the mod and Starlight part of the episode goes, the focus there, it's fine. I mean, I loved Mod's take on, you know, how Rox can't judge her for who she is and all that stuff. That's deep. That is actually really deep. And that, I guess, it ties in with Starlight as well. But seriously, can Pinkie Pie get any more out of character and annoying as hell? She'd rather cave in her friend rather than actually letting them, you know, develop the way they're supposed to, like friendships are born and developed and... I mean, seriously, Pinkie Pie, learn to give them some space. She was so out of character in this episode, and every time she would appear, I wanted to punch Pinky in the face. Like, seriously, I just felt like it. And here's the thing, what makes this so bad is that even at the end of the episode, after she admits, you know, friends need space to become friends, you know, that she can't just force them to do it her way, at the end, she does the same bullshit she's been doing for the last 21 minutes. I mean, seriously, Pinkie Pie, back up! Learn your lesson! Calm down, Sparrow. Calm down. And the fact that that's just addressed in this episode is terrible. It's not learning a lesson, it's repeating something that we've been seeing for the past 20 minutes. So, the Mod and Starlight part of this entire thing, fine. We learn a new thing about Starlight. She likes kites. And there's even some hints at what could have possibly been coming in maybe the end of the season, but that turned out to not be the case. Anyways, that is basically number two. So what could be worse than Pinky being the fly on the wall that you can't kill and you can't get rid of? Let's get into it. This is the number one worst season seven episode. Number one, secrets and pies. Why does this episode exist? It's pointless, it's bland, it's stupid, there's no point. This episode could have been summed up in one question. From Rainbow Dash's mouth, Pinky, I hate pies. I'm not a pie pony, I'm a cake pony. Simple. But no, we have to go through a whole 22 minutes of this episode making Rainbow Dash look like a total fucking dick that lies to her friends about things that are just kind of stupid in all matters. Like seriously, from the beginning of the episode to the end of the episode, I was like, what the fuck is this doing in season 7? Season 7. Now, if this episode was in like, oh, I don't know, season 1, 2, or 3, then it would have made sense. But come on, we are in the seventh year of this show's production, the seventh season. Characters are developed. Characters are more than what they were seven years ago. You're gonna pull this bullshit. You're gonna make Rainbow Dash look like a dick who is like, you know, lying to her friends. And that hurts me even more because Rainbow Dash is my favorite character. She's my favorite pony. So to make her look like a total dickwad who lies to her friends, Ugh. But that's not the thing that angers me about this episode. It's that it actually exists. There's no point to it. Rainbow Dash is basically avoiding being fed pies by doing some ridiculous act to freaking avoid hurting Pinkie Pie's feelings. Okay, let me explain where the moral of this. Doing stupid things to not hurt someone's feelings is an idiotic moral and doesn't add up. Because it's going to end up just like what happened to Rainbow Dash at the end of the episode. She's going to get caught. She's going to get scorned for it. She's going to get... She's going to get caught. She's going to get busted. She's going to get scorned for it. And she's going to end up having to eat a pie that looks like a piece of concrete rather than a pie. Jesus Christ. And the thing about the episode, the moral doesn't make any sense. It just adds up to something that's just going to backfire you and just going to bite you in the ass. It's pointless. It's childish. It's stupid. It, even in my initial reaction thoughts to this thing, I said it belonged in G3. G3. This is not something you hear commonly from me. Not at all. I hate G3 with a passion. But G3, I think, is where something like this belongs. Not in the seventh running, not in the seventh season of its fucking running. Jesus Christ. I mean, Pinkie Pie is in the right in this episode, but 
Rainbow Dash is just looked at as a giant fucking dick, even by her friends. I mean, even adding in the fact that, you know, you could have gotten Applejack to maybe get Rainbow Dash to admit that she was in the wrong, that would have been an okay episode. But no, you gotta just make Dash look more and more like a fucking dick. And I'm not just saying that Rainbow Dash, because Rainbow Dash is pointed at as the dick in this episode, is the reason why I hate it. I hate it because it's pointless. It's stupid. There is no good thing about this episode the moral will just end up coming back and bite me in the ass you're gonna get caught and yeah there's no point to it the moral doesn't add up nothing adds up secrets and pies should not have been included in this at all whoever allowed this to go through wow i mean some are looking at it as like just a step back and take a break episode but to me this should not belong in season seven for god's sake this is the only bad, 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 bad episode of Season 7 that I actually clarified as the first bad episode of Season 7. And it'll be easily forgotten. I mean, the only good scene in this entire episode, I'm sorry, it's it's Pinkie Pie's thoughts on how Rainbow Dash would get rid of her pies. <laughs> that is the best scene and the only good scene of this episode. Everything else is just malarkey and stupid and pointless. <sighs> Now, my blood pressure is down a little bit. That is my top five worst episodes of season seven. I am going to follow this up with the top five best of the season, but that might not be for a while. Thank you all for watching, and, and tell me in the comments what you guys thought was the five worst stinkers of this season. And until next time, guys, take care, and spare all for now, Rohith.